If Welcome you to like Learn my dad's Locust videos, series. In this season 2 episode 9, we are going to see channel. how we can run Locust in Docker. We are not going to see what is Docker, how it will be very useful and basics about Docker. We are directly going to see the commands which will be very helpful to run the Locust inside the Docker container. So this command will run the Locust as a Docker container by mapping your port 8089 to the container port 8089 and we are going to map the volume present working directory to the container volume mount locust and hyphen d it will execute in the detached mode and we are going to pull the image locust io slash locust and we are going to run the locust file dot pi so this locust file dot pi should be present in your present working directory which will be mapped to the slash mount slash locust when you run this command so when you run this command it will give you the container id and it will open the port 8089 and then you can interact in the web UI. If you want to run in the headless mode, you can add these commands. So here uh, we are going to generate the HTML report and, it, and then it will uh, store it in your local directory, my run1.html and by leveraging the headless and only summary and by passing the runtime uh, variables, you can run the locust as a uh, headless mode. And to see all the processes which are running, you can use docker ps and to execute some commands inside the running container, you can use the docker execute uh, slash it and the container id and bin bash. So this will enable you to go inside the running containers. Now let us see a quick demo how we can leverage docker to run the locust. So here I am running docker as a windows subsystem for Linux. First let us see the docker version which I am running. So the version is 20.10.5 and just issue docker ps to see what are processes which are running. So right now I'm just running minikube and nothing to do with the locust. Before you begin, make sure you have the valid file. So here if I type ls, you can see locust file.py and if we see what is there inside the locust file, just a simple hello world which will hit the petstore.octoperf.com and then it will run for every second. So nothing fancy, very simple locust file. And now let us uh, run the docker container. So docker run hyphen p 8089, which will map the local 8089 to the container 8089. And then we are going to map the current working directory. And we are going to pull the image. And then we are going to run the locust file dot pi. So whenever you run this command, it will give you the container ID. Now if you issue docker ps, you can see your locust is running. Now if you go to browser and launch localhost 8089, you can see Locust is successfully up and running. So here you can just uh, configure your number of users and the spawn rate and then you can start your test and then uh, whenever you are good, you can stop your test and you can see the results here. And if you want to download the data, you can download it and if you want to stop your uh, container, you can issue docker container stop and you can uh, just uh, enter the container id so this will stop the container if you want to remove the container you can type a docker uh, space rm on the container id this will remove the container but image will be there if you type uh, docker uh, image uh, ls you can see the images not deleted only the container will get deleted so now what we can do is let us run in the headless mode to run in the headless mode we have to leverage this command so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here so let us run for five seconds so this will run the locust in the headless mode but we can see the output but we want to run it in the detached mode you, you can run it in the detached mode as well so now if you type uh, ls you can see the my run one dot html is already copied and pasted in your local directory. Now, if you just type myrun1.html, you can see the HTML or you can go to the browser and then you can open the myrun1.html. So this will open your HTML report. So this is how you run your locust using the web UI or you can run it in the headless and then you can copy your artifacts to the local directory. Next video, you will see how we can run the test using the distributed load testing in Docker. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.